More than 5 million Americans suffer from irregular or rapid heartbeat, known as atrial fibrillation, or AFib. Medications are often the first line of defense to treat AFib, but now, new alternatives exist for those who find little or no relief from the drugs. The Division of Cardiothoracic Surgery, led by Dr. Rafael Squatiri and Dr. Albert DeMio, has perfected a new minimally invasive technique for treating AFib. With success rates far exceeding the national standards, Dr. Squatiri, who was named a top doctor in Connecticut Magazine's annual issue, discusses the positive impact the procedure can have on patients. Uh, recently, we've added surgical therapy to the treatment of atrial fibrillation. Uh, there's been many iterations of surgical therapy over the years, but most recently, uh, a very exciting procedure has been developed around new technology to do those ablation procedures on the heart with a beating heart uh, without using the heart-lung machine or doing a major incision uh, that are very, very effective at re-establishing sinus rhythm for those patients. So much more effective than catheter-based approaches, which uh, may be 50% successful. Surgery for well-selected patients can be 80, 90, 90 plus percent successful in restoring sinus rhythm, alle alleviating those symptoms, getting the patients off their medications, and at the same time, we remove that portion of the heart, the left atrial appendage, where clots can form. And I think that's a major advantage of the surgical therapy and uh, the fact now that we can do the operation, the standard operation, through now very, very small keyhole incisions in uh, both chests uh, under anesthesia uh, has really changed the way we're looking at using surgery to treat atrial fibrillation. The patients stay one or two days in the hospital, uh, the recoveries have been remarkably shorter uh, and, and much more uh, well tolerated by the patients. So uh, It's very exciting. You know, we're uh, constantly learning about it. There uh, are teams really uh, several throughout the country, a few in Europe, that are all sharing information and uh, techniques. It's still going to really develop over the next six months to a year. Uh, but we're happy to be off to a very good start um, and with, with good results here at St. V's and it's, uh, it's something we're uh, looking uh, towards uh, as, as a, a really uh, great operation we can offer our patients with AFib. So it's been, it's been exciting so far. St. Vincent's is the only hospital in Connecticut offering this minimally invasive option.